Thank you and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, thanks. It's great to be here. Let's start with how the partnership actually came about between Triggerfish and the Walt Disney Company. Well, the, we've been working with the DTI for a while to come up with a kind of with a development fund to develop um, uh, writers and, and directors here in, in South Africa. And so we approached uh, Disney and asked them if they would help us with the, the process of selection and, and the, the process of, of training the, the, the writers as well and also mentoring the, the, the development process. And, and uh, we were delighted that they agreed and, uh, and, and are on board. Is this, uh, is this partnership, the, through this partnership, is that the creation of the Story Lab? Tell us a little bit about the Story Lab. Yeah, so we're quite against the Story Lab. And yeah, well, the idea is to go out and find the most talented writers and, and directors on the continent. Uh, this is probably the first time that we've had this opportunity with animation, which uh, plays very well on the world stage, and you're able to make films that, that play in every single country in the world. And so we're, we're looking at, at developing our voice as a, as a country and as a continent to go out and uh, with international stories, international quality stories, and, uh, and, and tell them to the world. What kinds of people are you looking for? You mentioned directors, you mentioned storytellers. We've heard this word a couple of times now. Are you looking for animators too? Yeah, we're, we're looking for people with a, with a vision and a passion to see that vision through. People who could come up with a, a story concept and then uh, the development process will be 18 months to two years. So it's a very long and slow process and, and people have really got to be committed to, to that vision. And then uh, there may be directors on it or there may be uh, storyboard artists or whatever their particular skill is. We'd like them to work on the project until uh, the very end. These projects take five years. So I think we're looking for people with uh, perseverance and, and, and passion. And what is going to be the outcome? Are we looking at a number of different animated films from uh, the continent? Or are we looking at one film? What exactly are you guys looking at for in, the end in, product? In, in this phase, we're looking to develop uh, six uh, scripts. And that will be three uh, feature films and three uh, TV series. And we'll develop the, the, that uh, and then we'll see how that goes. We may do another call later on and keep developing. The, the idea is to constantly have uh, properties in development that we can always have something that we can uh, be, be taking out to market. So this is a long-term partnership with the Walt Disney Company? Uh, the idea, yes, it's, it's very long term. I think it's early stages of the relationship. Obviously, they're the, the biggest animation studio in the world. And, and uh, we wanted to send a message out that we're looking for international quality uh, ideas and international quality people. And so the partnership there is, is, is really helping us set the, the, the standard and, and, and the level of excellence that we're, we're going after in, in the writers. This is extremely exciting for South Africa uh, and, of course, um, for storytellers across the continent. But what exactly are you looking for from the applicants? You say that they must have an international vision, they must have perseverance. But what exactly will the judges be looking for in order for to be a part of this project? The judges will be looking for... Uh, they would be looking just at a four-page outline of, of either the series or the film. So they're looking for storytelling capability. We're looking for people who would really you know, stand out and, and, and that their story would just jump off the page. And then we'll be going through a workshopping process with them to get to know them a bit better. And then uh, we're going to take them over to, to Burbank and uh, where, where they'll see how the Disney uh, development department works and, and get an idea of what's, what, it's, what it takes. And then after that, it's an 18-month process that we'll mentor those writers. We'll pay them uh, a, an option fee uh, up front. And then uh, there's, there's, there's a whole bit of payment options later on. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. we're just looking for, for people who can, uh, in, in four pages and, and, and a one-page uh, filmmaker statement, convince us that they have what it takes. Okay, so where does one actually send this one-page or, or four-page uh, letter to convince the judges? 
Uh, all all the, uh, the application form is online uh, at uh, triggerfishstudios.com and uh, everything, all the details are there and uh, the, the submission forms are, are, are there as well. Who will be judging the entries? Uh, we've got some high-profile judges um, in South Africa. It's Nina Mkhlope, uh, David Kaur, um, and in overseas it's uh, Peter Lord, who co-founded Ardman Animations in, in the UK, and uh, Jonathan Roberts, who uh, wrote The Lion King. So it's, it's quite an a, a experienced team, as, as well as the Disney executive team. So they'll have a whole a lot of people on it as well. They'll be looking through the entries. And then the, the Triggerfish writers, the writers of Adventures in Zambezia and Kumba, are also going to be part of the judging process. And how many people are you looking at actually selecting to be a part of this project? Initially, it'll be about 20 people that we'll workshop with. And then after that, we'll, we'll get down to six. But we might do more if we, if we get really excited about the, the projects. And, uh, but in the, in the first phase, it's, uh, we're looking at about six projects that we'll, we'll take through the next two years. And do the applicants need to have a previous writing experience? No, they, they, we're looking for raw talent. The, the experience side is coming from Disney. So what we're looking for is, 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 is people who can, can really have a sense of an audience, what an audience wants. Because it's animation, it has to work on a, on a global scale and it has to work in China as well as Russia, as well as South America, as well as uh, the UK and, and America. So we're looking for people with a, who've got a universal sense of storytelling. And, and then, um, but obviously... Uh, we do expect that a lot of experienced writers will apply, um, novelists and, uh, and, and other t uh, types of writers. So we're, we're, we're quite excited to see what will come in. Uh, Stuart, can you just uh, confirm it's the Triggerfish website where writers and those that are interested can go to actually find the application form? Yes, triggerfishstudios.com. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much. That is the CEO of Triggerfish Animation Studios joining us from our Cape Town studios, Stuart Forrest, speaking about this very, very exciting partnership and the opportunity that uh, is open to storytellers from across the continent. They're looking at uh, initially selecting 20 people and it is very exciting. You can just go to the Triggerfish Studios website for the application.